Let's create a Maven Java project inside of IntelliJ. So the first thing that we can do is we can go up in the upper right and click on new project. This opens up the new project wizard and you'll see on the left, we have Java selected. This is under the new project tab. So we are just making a Java project. So that's what we want. Inside of here, let's rename this. Let's call it a Maven project. And underneath you can see a location. This is where the project actually gets saved. For now, I'm just gonna leave this as the default, but you can change this to wherever you wanna save it. Underneath that, we have create Git repository. This allows us to have a version control system within our application so that we can go back, maybe revert changes that we made and to basically have a history of all of the different features or changes that we create. Underneath that, we have the build system and we're picking Maven for obvious reasons for this tutorial. Underneath that, we have the JDK, and I'm just setting this to 17. You can set this to whatever JDK that you want to use. Then we have the add sample code, which I have selected. This will just add the main function and a little bit of boilerplate, just a print line. Underneath that is generate code with onboarding tips. I have this unselected, and that's basically because I'm actually doing the tutorial here. Now we have the advanced settings dropdown and here you can see a group ID and an artifact ID. These are the Maven repository group and artifact ID. Basically the group ID is usually your company domain, but backwards. So instead of underscore software.com, I have com dot underscore software. And then the artifact ID is most of the time, just the name of the project that you're working on. So I just have Maven project. So now we'll hit create and it opens up the main IntelliJ editor along with the pom.xml opened up automatically. So we can switch over to the main.java and you'll see that this is the boilerplate code that we have generated from that sample code selection. And all it's doing is printing out a hello world. And over here on the left, let's go through some of the files that have gotten generated. So underneath source, main, Java, and then the package name, we have our main file. And this is our main class. This is where we'll start the application. Underneath that, we have our resources, which doesn't have anything in it. And then we have a test folder inside of the main folder. And that has a Java folder, which also doesn't have anything in it. But if you were to add some JUnit tests or any sort of testing framework, you can add those tests here. Next, we have our git ignore file, and this is just a list of files and folders that we can ignore in our version control system. This allows us to ignore basically generated files or things that maybe IntelliJ created or the Maven build created, and we don't actually need to include those in our source control. We may only want to include things like the source, but not the actual build target. Those files just bloat the rest of the version control system, so we ignore them by putting them in this file. Next, we have the pom.xml, and this will be the main project structure for your Maven project. Basically, this defines all of the configurations, all of the build profiles, all of the properties, all of the group IDs, artifact IDs, all of the modules that you have, anything that you want to use with Maven, you would add it inside of this file. So that's it for the list of files that IntelliJ automatically generated but I wanna show you how you can run the main application since they built it here. Now the first way and the easiest way is just by hitting this play button next to the main class. What this will do is it'll pull up a menu and allows you to run or debug the main main function. So if I click this, it will build and then open up a run window down here in the bottom left. And you can see that our hello world is printed out here. What it also did was it added a run configuration in the upper right. We can see this main application run configuration. And if I open this up and go to edit configurations, you can see that we have this application main and it has all of the configurations for our project right now. So this is just running the application directly, but what if we wanted to have a execution inside of Maven? Well, the first thing that we have to do is we have to go into the pom.xml and create that build structure. So what I'll do is I will create a build and then inside of build, we need to have a plugin. So we will add the plugin inside of the plugin, which one we're going to create is the group ID that has org.codehouse.mojo. We don't want this animal sniffer parent. That is not what we're trying to do. Instead, we are adding the exec Maven plugin and the version we're going to go with 3.4.1. 
Now, when you do this, you'll notice you could have these underlined red, and that would mean that you don't actually have them downloaded to your Maven repository, your local one. So what you can do is in the upper right over here, click on this load Maven changes button, and it will automatically download this plugin for you and put it into your local in .m2 folder. So now we actually need to configure this. So if I hit enter and then go to executions and then execution. So now I need to define the Java execution. So I'll add a goal and in that goal, we'll call it Java. Now I also need to add a configuration. So we'll add configuration and then we will add a main class so that the execution knows what class to actually run. And the one that we will be adding is com dot underscore software dot main, because that is the name of our main class. And that's all we'd have to do, but we do need to load the local changes so that IntelliJ knows of this new plugin that we have. So we'll load it. And then if we open up the Maven tool menu and then bring this down, and then bring the plugins down. You can see that we have this exec plugin that we can then go into and then do exec Java. And it built successfully and you can see that we have this hello world. Now, if you did this right off the bat without building the main file, you'll actually run into an error saying that it can't find this main class. What you need to do first is you actually have to build the project. So you'll need to run the package lifecycle in order to package the project so then the Maven exec plugin can run that jar. Now, another thing to note, if we are to change the program, say we add a bunch of exclamation points and we then run exec Java, what you'll see is that it actually just builds and it built the old version. And that's the same reason why we have to run the build or the package first. So if we run package and then we run exec Java, you can see that it outputs our new string. So now that we have this exec Java, we can actually add it as a run configuration inside of the edit configurations. What we'll do is we'll hit this plus button, go down to Maven. It opens up this run configuration. And then in the command line, we can put exec and then do Java. And we don't have to do anything else. We can just hit apply and hit run. And it will do the exact same thing that we've been seeing before. So as you can see, you can run this like this. You could even edit this run configuration to not just include exec Java, but also include package. And it will do the same thing. It will package and then it will run that plugin that we just had. So that way it'll always be up to date. But personally, I like hitting the play button more because this allows IntelliJ just to build the project itself and run the classes that it builds. So you don't actually have to do that extra step of packaging. Instead, you just run it directly from this main class. So that is how you create and run a Maven project inside of IntelliJ.